on the rooftop of an industrial building in Hong Kong, a robot is drawing another robot. Her name is Sophia, and she's perhaps the world's most famous android. Today, she's sketching the skyline and painting a portrait of her new sister, Grace, displaying that most human of traits, creativity. Oh, hey. Welcome to Hanson Robotics. I'm astonished almost every day by the new things that AI and robotics can do in the world. I think that we've just begun exploring what the possibilities are. Let's do some Tai Chi. All right. Okay, start with your arms down. Okay. Now, lift your arms up like this. Possibilities, Hanson Robotics CEO David Hanson says, that include healthcare, as the company says it plans to mass produce its humanoid robots by the end of the year. Let's talk about Sophia's sister, Grace. You recently unveiled her. She's described as what a, a robotic humanoid assistant. How do you think she's going to change the world of healthcare? Uh, Grace is designed to connect with people uh, emotionally. Using AI and robotics in this context then makes these kinds of characters and agents uh, accessible to people in an interactive way. What do you do, Grace? I was born in 2021, and I am a medical professional assistant specialized in senior care. I want everyone to feel comfortable, relaxed, and at home. I was built to care. Hansen says that achieving a so-called illusion of life in his robots can help them become more effective caregivers, not meant to replace doctors and nurses, but to assist them. For people who are wary about a robot playing such a sensitive and critical role, you know, like a medical assistant, how do you respond to that? The technology is made extremely safe. So we have uh, many layers of security and data privacy. The robot is merely a proxy for the expertise of your healthcare professionals. Hansen says that the pandemic has re-energized interest in robotics to take on jobs deemed dull, dirty, and dangerous. Last October, the International Federation of Robotics said sales of medical robots have the potential to more than double to over 11 billion U.S. dollars by 2022. And in Singapore, this embrace of automation is well underway. The Southeast Asian city-state has the highest robotic density per capita in the world, much of it driven by industrial robotics. Singapore is quite unique because we don't have any natural resources except humans, right? Manpower is our resource. And because of that, uh, we are very pro-technology. So in other words, Singapore is like a living lab. Changi General Hospital is one such living lab. Here, in a hospital environment that's simulated for CNN due to the pandemic, robots perform tasks like physiotherapy, deliveries, and social stimulation. Selena Sia directs the hospital's robotics program, known as CHART, which has brought a fleet of more than 50 robots into its wards. She admits that there are significant hurdles to bringing robots into the workplace. The adoption of robotics in healthcare has been quite challenging because it is not really a plug and play um, technology and it is quite expensive. That has not deterred Singaporean developers from dreaming up their own inventions, creating robots that can sanitize public spaces, like the friendly cleaning robots from Lionsbot. The Endomaster, which can remove gastrointestinal tumors without the need for an incision, and Emma, a robotic masseuse from iTreat, which is being used in traditional Chinese medicine. <laughs> for David Hansen, whose company created Sophia, and now Grace, so robotics wield a transformative power for healthcare and beyond. It's a, an opportunity for us to evolve forward, to adapt to the changing world and situations. And we can use these technologies to make human lives better and safer.